We're building a cabana at Coco Loco and after being homeless for about a year and living out of a bag and sometimes in a tent and sometimes in a car and uh, driving around and moving our stuff here and there and everywhere, we finally got tired of that and we decided to build a cabana on Coco Loco property because those guys are super cool and um, we use Coco Loco to do our women surf and yoga retreats, so it seemed like it makes sense to build an extra cabana there and have a base for ourselves and our stuff for the time being until we come up with our dream piece of property and build something there later. We're building a, an 18 by 18 foot um, cabana that sort of follows the style of what's already here at Coco Loco which has thatch roofs and uses eucalyptus posts and beams. It's got a cement pad. Um, the guys at Coco Loco uh, have built this kind of thing before, so the building crew that we're using is familiar with all these materials. And since we wanted to do it quick and simply, we decided to stick with that as our sort of parameters for the materials we're using. The whole goal was to use you know, locally available materials and local building techniques and try and make it as environmentally friendly as possible but also want it to last. So the, the cabana is 18 by 18 and about 40% of that is going to be outside space. Uh, so we're going to enlarge the patio on the outside because we want to have a big killer hammock hanging out there and more shady covered um, outdoor area. And then on the inside it's going to have a sleeping loft that's above the outside patio. So we're going to save all that space for bed and storage in the loft. And then the inside's going to have a little kitchenette because we want to be able to cook inside when it's rainy and stormy. Um, and then like a main open seating area and we're going to design some kind of cool little step system that will access the loft without uh, using too much space. Uh, it's going to have lots of windows especially on the um, sides facing the predominant winds. Um, it's got a real high uh, thatch roof which is good for um, cooling the house <clears throat> and it's got a little window in the top of the eaves which we're experimenting with um, to catch the wind uh, at the very top of the roof and then funnel down and out all the windows for natural ventilation because um, we definitely don't like AC and we often don't even use a fan so um, plus we're making the roof um, overhangs a little bit bigger which will provide uh, more shade We've modified the roof a little bit to uh, add it a piece that makes it stick out further, which will also help the shade and the rain protection. We are looking at our new home site. And leveling the pad, which will be the floor. They're measuring right angles there. It's going to be 18 by 18 facing the sea, facing the winds, and it's going to be awesome.